Hi, welcome back to another Mr. Pelt Maths video and the problem this week is trying to work out the area of this circle. So we've got three squares that meet at the top right hand corner or bottom left corner of each square if you want to, well depending on which way you're looking at it, um, and they basically touch the circumference of the circle as you can see in the diagram. So the first thing that you might notice or that I noticed is that we have got another six unit square uh, that we can draw around this four and two unit square okay now after that i thought of a uh, circle theory it's something you might learn if you do a level maths and that is that if we um, do the perpendicular bisectors of any two chords they will meet at the center of a circle so if we draw those we've then got two diameters of our circle and we've then got a location generally for the centre of the circle. Now once you've done that you might realise or you might notice that there is some symmetry with this circle. Um, they, you know, there will be a reflection across both of those diameters and so you end up with three more six by six squares in this circle. Right, now once you've done that, you might be able to work out um, what you need to do next. And essentially, you can't just do 6 plus a half a 6 because you're missing this bit here, okay, which we need to know. So, the next bit is inserting this diagonal here, this diagonal of a 6 by 18 rectangle. And then we can use Pythagoras to work out uh, what that length would be. But of course, that is also going to go through the centre. So that is going to be two of our radiuses or the diameter. So the length of that we can work out by Pythagoras, which will be the diameter of our circle. So 2r is equal to the square root of 18 squared plus 6 squared. Now, that gives us 2r is equal to 6 root 10 and therefore r is equal to 3 root 10 and obviously once you've got the radius of your circle it's quite straightforward to find the area of your circle and so the area is pi times by 3 root 10 uh, all squared which gives us an area of 90 pi units squared. What a strange answer 90 pi to the problem originally three squares going diagonally across a circle. I hope you enjoyed this problem uh, like I did, and I will catch you next week for another video. Till then, please check out one of the other ones right here, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.